made it made. to Juneau, the capital of Alaska. So far it's gloomy, it's raining. This is what to expect when you're in Alaska, rainy weather. Today we're just pretty much going to be doing a food tour around Juneau. No major excursions to do today, but it's all right, it's part of the experience. So let's go tour Juneau, Alaska. All right. So we're here right now at the Alaskan Fudge Company. I just bought me some uh, some chocolate walnut, Klondike walnut correction. And this is what it looks like. It's just one bar right there. Pretty good size. Comes with a knife. So let's try it out. It's cool. I know, I didn't know that it had a knife. So we'll see how this is. Yeah, that's real good. It's very sweet. We're about to eat some king crabs, and if you know me, literally, I love it. I'm so excited to eat this king crab, like, you know, your big ones, like, just thinking about it makes me hungry. If you're in Juneau, this is a must stop. This is what Juneau is really known for, is the crab legs. So they say, if you're on cruises, eat crab legs here in Tracy King Crab Shack. So let's go. pound bucket which is pretty cool because when you walk in and you get the bucket like they ring the bell chant um but i'm so excited to dig in like that <laughs> mm, i'm so excited comes with butter rolls and three pounds of the red king crab which look like this. And then we got crab cakes, um, shrimp, ceviche. Also rice. I don't know where to start. Oh, it's so good. Do you know where to eat in Juno? <laughs> Do you know where to get crab drunk? Fun fact we learned when they were cooking. This is technically not fresh. They're one year old, but they keep it frozen. But y'all, look. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is so good, I'm so excited. I'm making a mess. Fix me. And of course, we have to share Mario's reaction on his first time trying king crabs and for him to share his honest review. So, no. you're totally a new one. Okay. I don't know if you can see the spikes. Look at the claw. They're pretty clawy. All right. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Yeah, I make it yay. Yeah. All right, get butter. So we're about to add butter. Get some butter. This is my first crab ever. Let's see Mario YouTube world. Look at Mario's first gotta, crab ever. Gotta impression. make it worth it because it, it was a lot. It cost a lot. Mmm. It's good. La. No, it really does. What does it taste like? As a newbie, what does it taste like? Butter was meat. It's good. Aftermath. 
you think three pounds is not enough for like me thinking like oh man I'm, I'm gonna need like five pounds three pounds is perfect especially if you're going to try the things I'm full and I'm freezing <laughs> My experience with uh, Tracy King Crab Shack, honestly, I had mixed feelings to see whether I was gonna like it or not, because I never had crab. Quite surprisingly, it was really good. Um, would I ever come back, if I ever come back to Juno? Yes. Uh, is the price a little bit high? Yes. But overall, you do get the good amount of meat from it. And I, so I honestly feel like the price is worth it. Um, if you're a big you know, crab eater, you must stop by here. One tip is get here early before they open because once they open, it's gonna be hard to find seats and the line can be pretty long. And if you're gonna be out here in the rain, you're gonna be waiting in the line in the rain. Do you have any other tip? Come with an empty belly. <laughs> yes, come with an empty belly, of course. And of course, we couldn't leave Juno without trying local beer. I would recommend that you come and try their Alaskan beer. Can't say you don't like it if you never try it. Did you know where to drink? <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe in our videos. And we'll catch you next time in our next video.